Hi, this is Andrew from EFTMagic.com again, and this time I'm recording this short video for you on a subject that you will encounter when doing EFT, and that is the very real fear of doing EFT in public. Newcomers very often go, I love EFT, but I can't do it in public. I'm embarrassed, I'm ashamed, everyone will think I'm weird, and I'm not even certain if I'm doing it right. And I don't want to do it in public because it's out of the norm, it's different. Whatever your reasons for not doing EFT in public, with this video, together, we will resolve that issue. See, the problem is, your negative emotions, limiting decisions, your beliefs, don't wait until you get home at 6 o'clock after a day's work to pop up. You know that if you stub your toe first thing in the morning, and then something else happens, and something else happens, and something else happens, it becomes a vicious cycle. And by the time you've hit work in two or three hours' time, you feel, on a scale of 1 to 10, you're minus 20. You feel absolutely shocking, and you bite everyone's head off. I don't know if you've ever experienced this before. There are many reasons why... We don't like doing EFT in public. I think the biggest is it looks really odd. I mean, if you're walking down the supermarket aisle and you're going, I deeply and completely love, forgive and accept myself, and you're not used to it, and you're not comfortable with doing EFT, you're wondering what everyone else is thinking. But I'll let you into a secret. One, most people don't even know you're doing EFT. They're not even seeing you. They don't even notice. Here's an example. Think of a car. A car you want, a car you have, a car you don't have. Got one? Right. I can guarantee you, you are not thinking of the same car that I'm thinking of. What's your car? My car's a Skoda. Now I can guarantee you, you are not thinking of a Skoda, unless you've just been to some comedy festival. Because for us over here in England, a Skoda was always the butt of the jokes as far as cars were concerned. You see, when you're thinking about something, everyone else is thinking about something different. We're all so wrapped up in our own little lives. But that doesn't make this fear of doing EFT disappear when you're in public. So that's what this video is all about. It is lessening that emotional attachment, that fear, that shame, that embarrassment, whatever you want to call it, of doing EFT in public. So, give yourselves a few minutes and we'll get cracking. So let's do another round on being afraid to do EFT in public. Starting on the karate chop point. Even though I'm afraid and embarrassed to do EFT in public, I deeply and completely love, forgive and accept myself anyway. Even though I don't like it when others see me do EFT, because I have to explain myself and why I'm wanting to change, I deeply and completely love, forgive and accept myself anyway. Even though I want to hold on to this excuse of not being able to do EFT in public, so I've always got something to blame for my position and where I am, I deeply and completely love, forgive myself and anyone else who may have contributed to this belief that I'm holding on to for dear life. Eyebrow point. I'm still afraid to do EFT in public. Side of the eye. I'm embarrassed when I do EFT in public, under the eye. He doesn't like it when I do EFT, under the nose. She doesn't like it when I do EFT in public. Chin point. Everyone looking at me and thinks it's weird that I do this EFT in public. Collarbone point. Tapping my top of my head is really weird and really uncomfortable for me when I'm doing it in public. Under your arm. Doing EFT is just really, really weird. But I'm allowing myself to change. Top of your head. I'm now allowing myself to do EFT in public. It's okay for me to do EFT in public. Take a deep breath. So let's just do one final round of tapping to remove everything we can of this fear of doing EFT in public. Karate chop point. Even though I may still have some of this remaining fear about doing EFT in public, I deeply and completely love, forgive and accept myself anyway. Even though I still may have some hesitation about doing EFT in public, I choose to accept all of me just the way I am. Even though I still have some remaining doubt about doing EFT in public, I'm choosing to allow myself 
to let this go now. Eyebrow point. I'm choosing to resolve this belief. Side of the eye. I'm choosing to let this go now. Underneath the eye. I'm the one that allows me to change. Under your nose. The only approval I need is of myself. Chin point. I'm allowing myself to step into my own natural brilliance and use EFT whenever I want. Collarbone point. Letting this remaining fear go. Under the arm. This remaining fear. Top of the head. Stepping into my own natural brilliance. Take a deep breath. Until next time, thanks for watching and happy travels.